All right, this is part four of the Chrome Dinosaur Game tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to post a scoreboard as well as the highest score. So let's just start by adding a div, and let's make it absolute position. Well, first let's call this scoring. Give it an ID. And the styling, let's just say um, position absolute. And uh, left, let's just make this be close to the end of the, you know what, we can do uh, right alignment. So we can say from the right of the screen, um, maybe 2%. We'll just see what that does. Maybe it won't work. And uh, top, let's move it down 5% from the top of the screen. And let's just say high score and then zero, and then score, and zero. And this is just to start off. Let's see if it, it works, perfect. Okay, so we need it to actually count up on that score. So as the time goes on, uh, we need to increase this value. And then whenever the page reloads, if this value happens to be bigger than this value, we need to set that to be the high score. And then uh, load that when the page loads. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, well, let's start with just increasing the regular score and then we'll move on to the high score later. So the regular score is easy. We just need an interval and it's going to start right when the game starts, which in our case is right when the window loads. I know in the real Chrome uh, game it starts when you press jump, when you press a key to jump, but we're not going to do that in this tutorial. It's not hard, but I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible. There's all sorts of features you could add that we're just not going to. So let's start the interval, set interval, function, and it's going to increase every maybe t every tenth of a second. So that would be 100 milliseconds. Um, we're just going to get that object by the ID scoring. You know what? We're going to have to have a variable to keep track of this. So let's say var score equals zero. And inside here, we'll just increase score by one each time. You can do plus plus or you can do plus equals one. And we also need to display that current score value. So that's where we're going to say var score label equals document dot get element by id score. Was it scoring? I can't remember. Yeah, it's scoring. Okay. So we want to have the same label stuff. We just want to swap out what the numbers are. So we'll say score label dot inner HTML is going to equal that same thing I just copied except instead of a zero here let's join in oh you know what I told you we weren't doing we're not doing the high score yet okay instead of a zero here we will join the actual score value okay and this should work already It looks like I have an error. It was too confident. And it says, ah, I'm just missing a little parenthesis on line 28. So apparently I forgot the comma, actually. It's telling me the wrong error, but I know what it says. Never mind. So there you see it. Increases my score. OK, so that's not completely predictable. All right, so there, we have the score. Now let's do the high score. The funny thing about a high score is it needs to stay even if you close out of the tab, if you reopen this website later. Otherwise, it's not a very useful high score because it's only going to be there while you're the one playing it. But if you want this to be saved on the device for the next time you come play or if another person uses the, this device, um, if you want that to still show the highest score that anybody's ever gotten, um, you can use something called local storage, um, or you could use a cookie. But local storage allows you to store even more data on the device. 
So uh, the one drawback to local storage I should point out is it doesn't work on every browser. Um, some browsers have more security features that don't allow it for some reason, but Chrome allows it. So we're just going to say at the very beginning, when this loads, let's say load high score. That's going to be a new function. And we're just going to say function load high score. Um, we also need a variable for the high score. So let's say high score starts out at zero just because we don't know if there is a high score yet. Um, but inside of this function, we're going to try to retrieve that value from the local storage of the device. One way to do that is to just say if local storage dot get item by the ID um, high score, which we haven't used yet, but that's the one I'm choosing. So we, if we can find an item by the label high score in the local storage, um, and it doesn't equal null, that means it exists. Uh, let's say set the high score variable to equal that. So high score equals local storage dot get item by the ID high score, or by the label high score. Okay. And in order for it to actually exist, we need to set the high score anytime that our new score is higher than the previous high score. So that's easy at the very beginning because the previous high score is zero. Um, so right when the collision occurs, they die right before it reloads. Let's set the high score to be whatever the score is. So we can say high score equals score and then set it on the local storage. We say local storage dot set item we say high score and we set it to be high score. That's all there is to it. Alright, let's test this out. So I got five. It did not work. Let's see why. Oh, you know what? That was a silly mistake. I forgot in the part where we redraw the label, we just have to add that in. So we'll just add in join with some plus signs, we will join high score. Okay, save, reload, and now it says five is my high score, and now I should have a higher score after this. I'll let this die here so that it can say 85 should be my newest high score. Yep, there we go. Oh, it did not work. Oh, and silly me, I actually made it overwrite the high score every time. <laughs> so it should only be overwriting this high score here when we die if the high score is lower than the current score. So if score that we just got is greater than high score, that's when we're allowed to overwrite the high score. So let's say inside curly brackets there. Perfect. Okay. So now, 11 is 11 is the high score. And if I get something higher than that, now it should be 46. And if I get something lower than that, which 18, it shouldn't take that 18 because it's not higher than a 46. All right. So I think we got it. We got the scoreboard and we got the high score saved. And you should still be able to close this reopen it and it will still have that high score.